Hi everyone, Johnny from WP Johnny here to talk to you today about the best caching plugins for WordPress. So I don't know if you've checked out there, but there's like tons of them. There's dozens and dozens of WordPress caching plugins. I've already reviewed over 40 of them. And I can tell you over the past uh, maybe 10 years of trying different cache plugins, I've come up with my top three. So let's go over it right now on the test website. I'm just gonna show you a little bit uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about each one. We're not really going to like test everything, but I want you to get a feel for it. So the first one, Swift Performance. Um, what can I say about these guys? Really fast, really innovative. They are, they are the most innovative caching plugin. They keep coming up with new features, new little, you know, little uh, optimizations here and there. And it's fantastic. I can say I'm a total speed addict. Uh, you know, it's not enough for me to have the website cached. I need to optimize this little thing, that little thing. And Swift Performance allows you to do all that. Now, the reason why for me, they're easily number one is because not only are they full featured, but it's free. Okay, so let me give you, you know, you can go through the website on your own time, but let me show you what you get for the price of free. It's really impressive. So here it is. Uh, so, so the free version is Swift Performance Lite and then the paid version is Swift Performance. Okay, now this this other plugin here, just ignore that, I don't, I don't know who that is. Um, that was just one of the plugins I tested. Okay, so uh, we go here, let's go to settings and just so you guys get the view, you know, an idea, let's go to advanced. So tons of settings. Tweaks, you can tweak heartbeat, the heartbeat thing, cron jobs. Okay, so some of the features are locked behind a pro version. So, but even still in the free versions, tons of stuff, lazy load for images. It doesn't optimize images, uh, lazy load for YouTube videos or videos, embed iframes. Then we have here like the typical combined CSS or a combined uh, JS. There's general, uh, there, you can generate critical CSS there's, um, and then all the different caching, the different caching options. It's really, uh, it's, it's a full featured cache plugin. Now, some of you may feel this is overwhelming. There's too much going on. Uh, there's a little bit of truth to it, but I would say for being a full featured plugin, it's actually pretty easy to use. I have a guide on it, by the way, and I'll also be releasing a video very soon um, in case if you need some setup tips and ideas on how to get the best out of this plugin. Uh, you know, Cloudflare, uh, all the different, okay, over here is the image optimizer. Okay, over here is the database optimizer. So, you know, you can clean up your transients. Ooh, a lot, that's a lot of auto loads. So, you know, tons of tons and tons of features. There's the, the critical font thing. This will come in the pro version. The plugin organizer, I can't believe they include this for the free version. It allows you to disable certain plugins on certain pages based on the settings that you choose. So uh, another thing, um, and then there's a really awesome warm-up table. It shows you what items are cached, which items are not cached. It also shows you which items are being cached that you maybe didn't want them to be cached. So it's kind of cool to know what your, your cache plugin is doing. Then there's a, the log, a log function where you can see if, um, if for whatever reason it's not, it's not caching, you can go in here and it'll tell you what's going on or what's going wrong. Um, now, if I go to my dashboard, okay, wow, there's a there's a massive ad. Uh, you can just hide this ad; it'll it'll never show again. I believe up here, if you open this up, you can also just close that, and then you won't see that ad anymore. But I mean, for the price of free, it is awesome. I mean, the free version is better and has more features than even other paid plugins out there. So. I'm going to disable that real quick and let's just flip over and just take a look at the pro version, right? So the pro version was it $40 a, a, a year or something like that. There you go. And then for $100 a year, you get four sites for $200 a year. You get unlimited sites. Great for developers or maybe just, you know, ad server admins that want to speed up their client sites. So let's get to here and we have Swift performance. Okay, and let's go. So it looks pretty much the same. 
but just that all the features are now available, right? We don't see any, any lock icons anywhere. Everything's available. Again, image, it, it's caching, it's images. It's, and then this is awesome, right? If you have certain plugins, it even has little optimizations for each one. That's really cool, very progressive. I mean, so cool. I can't say enough about these guys. I'm such a big fan. Um, I'm such a big fan. And it, you know, if you guys know me, on if you're on the, the Swift Performance Facebook group, you guys might have seen me all over the place. So, um, and there you go. Ooh, the critical font option. So this is pretty cool. If you're using Font Awesome 4, uh, or earlier, it, it enqueues a really slow external asset request that goes to Font Awesome servers. Swift can, if you do like scan used, you know, to use this, you, you hit the scan used icon, so it scans all the icons that are being used by Font Awesome, then you enqueue it. Swift makes, creates its own locally, local placed, locally placed font that covers all those icons and gets rid of that external call. So, I mean, it is so cool. It is feature packed. I, I, you know, if I go in here, if I go in here and break down all the little things, all the little things it can cache, um, you know, it can, it can do dynamic caching. It can cache Ajax actions. So if you know what these are, it's, it's just so cool. Um, you know, no other, no other cache plugin that I know can do that. You know, maybe Lightspeed cache. So anyways, Moving on, let's let's clear this out and let's go to my number two. So, so my number two, my number two favorite cache plugin, or what I would what I would consider number two, it's not really my number two, is WP Rocket. So, if you don't know WP Rocket, this is them. Maybe you've seen their logo. Really cool, really polished uh, plugin really easy to use super high performance and the pricing is very reasonable it's fifty dollars for a year or a hundred a year for three sites or 250 for unlimited now what what's their features what's their um what are they known for so uh let me do this i want to show you what caching what cache plugins used to be for wordpress so back in the days like 10 years ago if you wanted to cache your wordpress site your best choice your best choice was w3 uh w3 tc or w3 total cash so i want you to see what it looks like so back then it looked like this um, okay we don't need to see that okay that's not so bad right this is what it starts with and i'm gonna accept that and then we go to settings and then oh my god <laughs> it, it, it's all this it's it's a maze and then it feels like there's a hundred settings and, and you, you never knew like when things broke, you you knew some settings were conflicting with other settings, but you didn't know which one to change, which one to adjust. It just feels like a hundred settings all over the place. It's it's and it's way technical. It's not even and it, it feels like something that's not even meant for developers, it's meant for server admins. So, you know, and then like even within it, right? Each of these little drop downs had like 10 options and you're like, hey, what, why can't I have that? Or is that good? Or, you know, and then no explanation anywhere, right? They, they just kind of assume that you know what you're doing. So it was way too, just way, way, way too complex. And um, it never caught on. People hated caching because of that plugin. So that just, just letting you know, so that's where, that's where we were coming from. And then outcomes, uh, out comes w, WP Rocket, and then let me show you um, how beautiful this thing is. So I go here and look at this interface. Super clean, super, super clean, super friendly. We go here, if you don't know what, what's needed, you just click need help. You can, oh, let me, let me move this out of the way a little bit, right? And then you can see um, there's a full on explanation for each of these little items. I mean, just, just look at the, I love the visual. I love the user interface. It's super friendly and, and you really, I mean, even though they have all these options, they have a few advanced options, but you can get by with just one click, right? It really is like a one click caching plugin. So um, I, I love it. I love it. They don't have maybe all the features, but they have most of the features that you would need. And it's still very, very fast. Um, if there's anything that I may not like about WP Rocket is that you have to pay. 
So, I mean, you know, start with, just just start with the free one, see how far you go with the free one. If the free one is enough, offers you enough um, speed performance, then you don't need to pay for a cash plugin. So, anyways, let's move on to my third, my number three. This is Lightspeed Cash Plugin. So, uh, these guys, um, Lightspeed is a web server, if you don't already know, and they've built a cache plugin that integrates natively with their server caching mechanism. So it's really cool. If you want the fastest cache plugin, the absolute fastest, fastest caching for the highest traffic server, uh, like enter, we're talking enterprise grade caching, this is it. Lightspeed caches it. The, the, they are a monstrous, it's a, it's a very high level, A level cache plugin. Um, enterprise level cache plugin and let me show you what it can do so this is really cool um, it's a free plugin so it's free you don't have to pay anything um, let me turn off rocket here let me turn off WP rocket okay good okay great let's turn it off and let's get to the settings so it's a, it's an enterprise. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to worry about this. It, it should be enabled maybe because I didn't flip something. There it is. So, um, this is, it's a, an incredible plugin, tons and tons of features. Uh, it has more advanced features than say like Swift, it, but it's more advanced towards server settings where Swift is maybe has more like user settings. So what does that mean? It's just optimizing from a, from a different mentality, from a different point in mind. Lightspeed optimizes your site based on the, you know, the, using options that, that leverage the server power. Whereas Swift would optimize your site just by tweaking little parts of WordPress. Both of them are great. I mean, uh, for in different, different places, I would use different ones. Um, here we can see Lightspeed Cache also has a database optimizer. You know, they have their CDN thing. So let's talk about, uh, there's one thing about Lightspeed Cache that you, ha you previously could not use the Lightspeed Cache plugin unless you were using Lightspeed Server. That's why it's not my number one or number two go-to plugin because you need to have Lightspeed Server and not everyone has Lightspeed Server. I love Lightspeed, I use it on all my web servers or almost all my web servers, but um, not everyone does. So because of that, you couldn't use the Lightspeed Cache plugin. But they just recently re released this uh, Quick Cloud service. And with this service, it's like a CDN, it's like a caching CDN. And it would allow you to use Lightspeed Cache on your website, on your WordPress site, even if you don't have Lightspeed Server. So it's so awesome, it's so cool, I love it. Um, so bottom line is this, I know what you guys are gonna ask, you guys are gonna ask me, okay, so there's three great cache plugins, uh, which one would you use and, and, and where and when? Okay, so I would do this. If you're starting off the bat, you don't know what you're doing and you don't wanna pay, the Swift Performance Lite is an incredible free cache plugin. I would start there. That's that, that that's the best one to start. Ton chock full of options for you to, not only to to play with caching, but to learn the different mechanisms, the different speed optimization mechanisms. And I mean, that plugin alone is all you need. You don't need to buy the other ones. You don't need to try all the. You don't, I wouldn't stack optimization plugins. Just use one. So I would start there. And if you like it then buy the pro version, right? Buy the Swift Performance, the, the paid version. It's $40 a year, it's so worth it. So uh, it's very affordable for what it gives you, right? Otherwise you would be paying for a more expensive server when you could have just got this little plugin. Okay, the second one is WP Rocket. So what I like about these guys is that it's really child-proof, like it's really dumb-proof. If you don't want to learn about caching, you don't want to figure out features, you don't want to understand, you just want to install something that'll just work and not make you think, then WP Rocket is, is it. And if you don't mind paying, the interface is really nice, really easy to use. So I recommend them as well. Um, both Swift and WP Rocket will run on almost every server. They'll run on Apache servers, they'll run on N Nginx servers, Lightspeed servers. There are some web hosts who will not let you use those plugins. So there you go. 
um, both Swift and, and Rocket are basically software level caching plugins. So they, they're about on the same level. Swift has more features. And if you use those features, then it is better. If you don't need those features or you don't get that much benefit, you don't care for that extra 30, 40, 50 millisecond benefit, Rocket will be fine. The next one is Lightspeed Cache. So Lightspeed Cache, uh, again, you have to have Lightspeed servers, but now they just release, uh, they recently released that quick call out service. So you can use it on any server. Um, here's how I think about Lightspeed. If you get a ton of traffic, or if you get 1,000 pages, if you have 1,000 pages on your site or more, and you're updating your site constantly, Lightspeed Cache is the winner for me. Try to use it, try to you know jump on a Lightspeed server and use Lightspeed Cache. Um, if you have a site that's three, 400 pages or, or fewer, then Swift and Rocket is more of my favorite. Um, if you try to use Swift on your site and it breaks it or it doesn't play nice with some plugins, I would try Rocket or I would try Lightspeed. Lightspeed Cache is very, very stable. Um, if you have a really high powered server, then I, I lean towards Lightspeed. You know, if you have control of your own VPS, I would get Lightspeed server and use Lightspeed cache. So um, if you have many sites on the same server and you, don't want, and, you're, and you don't want them to just eat up all your server resources all the time, I would use Lightspeed cache. So there are many you know, situations and variables of where I would use and which one, but I mean, you can try all three. You can be like me, have no light. Try all three, play with it, break your sites, and then fix them. And, and okay. Um, also, too, you can check out their Facebook communities. All of them, Swift, Rocket, and Lightspeed, have amazing, super friendly, super helpful Facebook communities that'll help you tweak your site. So I highly recommend them. These are you know these are the big three: Swift, Rocket, and Lightspeed Cache. Thanks for watching.